now That's what I intend to do Ain't no instructions but I know how Ain't nothing gonna stop or even slow me down I'm having way too much fun The party's on, just keeps getting better I feel so good, it makes me want some more Much fun. Way too much fun. Like that? Oh, yes, it's beautiful. I painted that. You painted that? Yeah. This is Starry Night. Oh. By Vincent Van Gogh. It says it right there. Oh, okay. He died a long time ago. I was talking about the thing behind it. The wall? Yeah. You painted the wall. I painted the wall and I painted the ladies' bathroom on the third floor. Okay. That's great. Do you like it? The wall or the ladies' bathroom on the third floor? <laughs> the wall? The ladies' bathroom was more of an experiment. Um, yeah, yeah, I like it. It's, it's fine. Fine? Yeah. I mean, maybe you could use another coat of paint, but, you know, that's sort of my subjective ideas of... God! Nobody understands my work! <laughs> we sure have learned a lot together today, so let's review. After you determine that someone needs CPR, you give them how many chest compressions? 30! And after those chest compressions, how many rescue breaths? Two! Dynamite! And finally, what does CPR stand for? Creating perfect results. No, CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Just remember that CPR gives a heart attack victim a better chance of surviving. Right, guys? Right! right. Also, JFK died because nobody gave him CPR. Right! No. President Kennedy was shot in the head. There's nothing anybody could have done to save him. Because CPR hadn't even been invented yet. No, what? No. One time, I was watching CPR Miami with my grandpa at home. Suddenly, he grabbed his chest and made a sound like and fell to the ground. Did he need CPR? Yes, that certainly sounds like a situation where CPR could have been helpful. Oh man, I feel like such a dumb idiot. I guess I killed my grandpa. No, no, you didn't, but... Yes, if you'd given him CPR, you could have helped his body circulate oxygen until the ambulance arrived. The ambulance never arrived. I stared at his body on the ground for hours and hours. Finally, my grandma came home and told me he was dead. 
Did you call 911? I didn't call 911. I killed my grandpa. Right! No, that's enough for today's episode. Did you know that if someone's choking on their food, all you have to do is scare them? Right! No, no, you give them the Heimlich maneuver. You can't be religious and practice CPR. Yes, of course you can. But sometimes God needs a new angel. Who are we to say no? My best friend told me that if someone's choking on their food, you should just scare them. It wasn't your best friend, it was this kid. And we're talking about CPR. One time, I walked in on my mom giving my dad CPR. Okay, that's totally inappropriate. Yeah, it was gross. He had a heart attack while they were having sex, so she had to give him CPR. CPR stands for JFK. Right! No, no, enough! All right, shut up! You idiots obviously were not paying any attention to that. Mm. I'll call 911. No! No. Let's just... Let's just wait. Right. right.